good morning student today i am going to explain you a new poem and that is the school boy the school boy in the poem is not a happy child what makes him unhappy why does he compare himself to a bird that lives in a cage or a plant that withers when it should blossom first we will read the poem then i will explain you why the child is said i love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds the horn and the skylark sings with me oh what sweet company i love to rise in summer morn i as a little boy or a young boy in this poem and he loved to awake in the summer morn means morning when the birds sing on every tree in the morning when all the birds chirping in the tree the boy likes the chirping of the birds on every tree the sound of horn blown by the hunter from a distant field and sweet songs of skylark bird the boy also want to hear the sweet song of skylark bird and the horn of the hunter but to go to school in summer morn oh it drives all the joy away under a cruel eye outworn the little one spend the day in sigh and dismay but the little boy was very disappointed but to go to school in summer morn oh it drives all joy away under a cruel eye outworn the little one spent the day in sigh and dismay but it is a matter of utmost disappointment for the boy to attend the school in such a sweet summer morning where actually he wishes to enjoy the delight of summer he is tired and even puzzled under the strict supervision of his teachers the phrase outworn refer to the eyes of the teacher that actually tires the boy instead of enjoying the pleasure of summer the child has to compulsory attending the school where he spend the day in boredom and sadness ah then at times i drooping sit and spend many as anxious hour nor in my book can i take delight nor sit in learning's bower worn through with the dreary shower now in this passes the child expresses his tiredness he sit unwillingly in the sea of boredom the child keeps under control the attack on him by the harsh personality of the teacher and unnecessary lectures shower of meaningless words and his urge for unchecked freedom the learning's bower refers to a garden where the child can be taught in an interesting way only if nature accompanies him instead of the school teacher how can a bird that born for joy sit in cage in sing how can a child when fears annoy but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring the poet compare a child with a bird according to the poet a bird which is born cheerful and fun loving can never sing sweet songs if we kept it in the cage similarly the child will live under the strict control of his teachers he will never enjoy the nature and never enjoy his studies the poet want to say that if children are trapped in a classroom cannot express themselves cannot utilize all their excess energy and therefore their potential get wasted oh father and mother if birds are nipped 
and blows them blown away and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day by sorrow and cares dismay in this line the boy said to his mother and father if we uh, crush a bird in the starting how shall the summer fruits appear that is if children are stripped of their ability to play and have fun in the summer season how shall they grow and develop to the fullest extend how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear so in this poem the poet want to give freedom to the child to enjoy the nature and learn from the nature then the child can find out his actual potential